Hello and welcome to this section of the Circuit Analysis Tutor. Uh, in this section we're going to cover one of the most important things that you will learn in all of your studies of electric circuits. It truly does uh, serve as the foundation for everything that we're going to cover uh, beyond this point. And that is what we call Ohm's Law. Right? It's fundamentally a relation between current, voltage, and resistance. Now we've talked about that already in section one. We've talked about the concept of the, the current being that's the electricity that's actually flowing in the circuit. That's what's moving. We've talked about the voltage being the pushing force that's pushing this current around in the, in, in the circuit. And we've talked about the resistance being whatever's in the way trying to slow, you know, slow down the, the flow of this current. Right. Ohm's law is the math behind all of the stuff that we talked about in section one. So you already know what Ohm's law should state, but we're going to talk about mathematically here. And then we're also going to look at a few really simple circuits to show you how to use it. And believe me, when I say simple, they're going to be very simple circuits, but there are a couple of things that I really want to point out for you that you get very comfortable with early on so that as we build the complexity and branch out and make these complicated looking circuits, you know, you'll have a really good foundational bedrock. So I'm going to point those things out along the way. All right, so Ohm's law. It's probably one of the simplest relations you'll ever see. Ohm law. All right, so it's extremely simple. And what we see is V is equal to I R. V is equal to I R. All right, you can probably guess what a lot of this is, is serving to, to represent. This guy is the voltage. V represents voltage, right? We talked about that before. I, we are also talked about that this represents current. So this is what's flowing in the circuit. And then R, you might guess, is resistance. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. It is probably the simplest algebraic equation you can come up with. V is equal to IR. The voltage in a circuit, right, is equal to exactly the current flowing through some device in the circuit times the resistance of that object. So when you think of Ohm's law, you really should think about it in terms of it being applied to any specific element in a circuit. So envision a circuit, you've got a source that's some battery or something pushing electricity out, and then there's some other stuff. The other stuff could be lots and lots of things. Could be a fan, could be a light bulb, whatever. But in our study of circuits, we're going to begin by talking about resistors, resistive networks. So think about some resistors over there. So the current is going to be going through those resistances. So whatever the current is that's flowing through a resistor, multiplied times the resistance value itself in ohms, is going to tell you what the voltage drop, what the voltage is across that resistor, right? So I think let's talk about it uh, in a little more detail and, um, and you'll see it with some pictures as well. Now, before we get to that point, most books will introduce Ohm's law of being V is equal to IR. Now, it's a simple algebra equation. You, you can solve for I, if you wanted to calculate the current, you could just divide both sides by R. I would be equal to V over R. So a lot of times in books, this is honestly the way I like to remember it myself, I is equal to V over R. It's exactly the same relation. There, it's not like this is a separate equation from this. It's, it's all the same thing. This is the same, this is the relation. When you solve for current, it means you divide by the resistance like this. If you want to solve for the resistance, you just divide by the current, so it'd be V over I. All right, but this particular form is nice to talk about verbally because you can see um, very easily a few nice things about Ohm's Law. Think about it. What we're saying is if you have an object in your circuit, firstly, you've got to remember Ohm 